Greetings Cyber Dogs, this is Ren Dog coming at you from just outside the mole hole in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. And a very warm and special welcome to all new viewers and all new subscribers. And this is a very, very special episode guys because this is episode 50. And I am going to be dedicating this episode to all you new subscribers and new viewers who have just joined us and who, who have decided to come along for the ride and take time out of, your, out of your lives to watch this series. So welcome, one and all, old and new subscribers alike, welcome to this episode 50, very special episode of Let's Play Minecraft. With me, your host, Rendog. And uh, in this episode, guys, I'm going to take you through all the epic freaking things we've done in the last 50 episodes. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I, I want to go down a little trip down memory lane with all of you old subs and all of you old viewers. But I also want to introduce the new viewers and the new subscribers to all the stuff that we've done in this world. Because, because you new viewers might not be familiar with some of the stuff that we've built. Like, for example, that giant ball of lava over there. If you've just joined us, you might be wondering, what in the hell is that? And uh, in this episode, guys, I'm going to take you through everything we've done in the series. So um, if you are a new viewer, now's the time to subscribe. And... Welcome to the pack, guys, and join us in this adventuring adventure of Minecrafting goodness. And my goodness, guys, what better place to start than right here at the Mole Hole. This is where we started the whole adventure way back in episode one. We came from somewhere in this direction at, at our spawn point, and we ran into this um, jungle biome or, or rainforest biome or whatever you want to call it in search of somewhere to live. And we came across this mountainside which we have over the last 50 episodes or so transformed into a beautiful, magnificent freaking castle that we call the Mole Hole. So to those of you who are new, welcome to your new home in this series. This is the Mole Hole. And um, I have added pressure plates to the, to the entrance. And here you can see the beautiful interior of our Mole Hole. We are yet to decorate the interior. And that's probably going to happen in the next... Um, 20 episodes or so but the first thing we did that when we got into the mole hole was build this giant life tree is what we called it and this is a tree that goes all the way up into the sky and it holds that giant ball of lava which i'm going to be showing you in a moment guys but let's go into the box room of the mole hole and here you can see is where we keep all of our material we try and keep it as ordered as possible um, and this is what's known as the adventure box and whenever we go on adventures we we come to this box to get our stuff and this was our first forging room and since then we've had a major upgrade on the forging room and you guys are going to see that when we go upstairs and of course this is where we keep all of our, um, our smelted goods but we've used everything um, up until now and here was our original wheat farm and this is something that is going to move eventually outside because you can't have wheat growing inside. I mean, what kind of stupid jazz is that? Seriously, man. And um, in here was just a storage room from way back in the, in the first sort of 10 episodes or so. Um, you older subscribers are welcome to leave some comments, guys, about those days, man. Remember when we were all the way back here, man. Damn, that was a long time ago. So... I'm going to venture up a level. What we eventually did was starting add, to add more levels to the mole hole. And as you can see, we started adding more levels. And um, there's a room here that we need to do something. And then we decided to upgrade the forge room. And here you can see is the upgraded forge room with more forges than we'll ever freaking need in this um, series. But it just looks so, so sweet. And this is where we put our lava when we are busy forging stuffs. And um, the... The mole hole continues up one more level, I believe, and this spire was the next thing, uh, or the next big development that was made in the mole hole, and I will show you exactly what that spire does in a moment. Um, and as you can see, the life tree continues up through the middle of the mole hole, and if we follow the spire all the way up, up another level, we get into this big chamber over here, which was um, our first major project in this series. And this, of course, is my bedroom. And this is where you can see all the epicness of this world, man. Check it out. It is just the sweetness. In this direction, we have our railway system that runs all the way to an outpost way yonder there in the, in the tundra. And let me tell you guys, if you haven't seen the outpost yet, you are in for a treat. And up here, we can see the animal pens down there, which is the most recent addition to our world. 
but what I wanted to do now guys is take you up to the great lava ball for those new subscribers and new viewers who may not have seen it yet we built this tree which we called the life tree to go all the way up to the very top of the canopy so that when we were coming back from adventures we were, would easily be able to see where our home was and uh, that was the idea behind the lava ball and the, the giant life tree and I just want to mention that most of these ideas in this series are coming from the subscribers um, leaving comments in the comment section below guys so if you're thinking about subscribing you can have an active part in developing this world and I mean as you can see it is looking really awesome there are three animal pens and there goes the highway and who knows what is in any of these directions we haven't explored in any of these directions yet so there's still so much to do and as you can see here is the giant lava ball let's take you up there man let's take you all the way up so you can see what it looks like because it is the sweetness um, let's just hop hop on our way up here man and let's just build a little platform out this way and then up again and uh, this is where we actually died um, a few episodes ago so up here is a giant lava ball you can see it is lava that I have um, encased in in glass and it is just so freaking sweet man and um, that is the top of the life tree there's still a lot of work to be done up here and that is one of the uh, major tasks of this uh, series is to, is to uh, complete what is eventually going to be a sweet ass freaking balcony up there man mm, damn it is going to be sweet um, I'm just man I'm just so excited guys to show you guys all this epic stuff it is so sweet and um, we are now going on an epic epic journey in on the railway system well in a moment firstly I want to take you guys into the animal farms hey there sheep is it is time to get busy getting busy come on get it on yeah get it on sheep is make me some babies damn those sheep are randy man and as you can see our animal farm is blossoming there's lovers in the air and um, we even found another pig check it out we found another pig for you uh, old subscribers they're gonna get it on damn that pig over there is feeling rejected man he's like i can't be a part of all the loving but um <laughs> before we get too distracted by our animal farm um i want to take you guys to what was our original will you all be quiet god damn it damn you guys are making way too much noise um this right here was the original adventure uh, ravine guys this is where we first freaking died way back in the day man all the way back in episode four i believe it was a tragedy and uh, we freaking bit the dust falling down there and we also melted in lava um, but now guys I want to take you down all the way there into the distance where you can see an epic structure and that is has been one of our most successful builds in this series to date so let's hop in the freaking minecart and let us head on in that direction come on minecart come on come on you bastard come on you bastard he's a bit of encouragement no wait for me all right here we go guys we are off on the railway system. This is an automated railway system using uh, pressure plates and golden uh, rail pads, or powered rail pads, if you will. And our second, one of our, our, the next of our big builds was this here bridge that was shaped to be built like London Bridge. And there you can see in the distance, guys, the mining outpost, which was the first major external project that we ventured on in this series um, other than the molehole castle and as you can see it is it is turning into a freaking epic outpost in this outpost is where we are doing all of our mining and, and i just want to take you up the water vator into the outpost itself so you guys can see what it looks like we've built four major spires all of which are going to be rooms and i'm going to take you up to the first room in this outpost which is um over over here via this here ladder and we're going to we're going to head up into the first room and basically these rooms are just sort of lookout posts if you will um this the inspiration for this outpost came from uh, came from game of thrones i always i think of this outpost as like winterfell and uh, there in the distance you can see the awesome bridge and the railway system which we built through this lava tundra man if you guys you, you old subscribers can think back uh, 20 or 30 episodes ago this was just um, an empty free this wilderness man and we have brought civilization up into this business and uh, we need to complete all of these three spires still still a lot of work to do in the outpost guys and um, it is going to be epic and um, I've got huge plans for this outpost so 
now is no better time to subscribe so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing in this outpost. Now I wanted to explain to you how this is a mining outpost. In this outpost there are, going, there are four major um, uh, stairways that go down to bedrock and uh, we've already mined out one of them. Um, that one goes all the way down to bedrock and all four of them are going to go down to bedrock and at the bottom of these mines are branch mines or strip mines if you will um, where we spend a lot of time uh, mining and gathering ores and of course cobblestone because it is the, the easiest and the quickest way to get cobblestone so here is another giant freaking ravine for us to explore we've been spending a little bit of time down there trying to find diamonds and other freaking sweet ass loot like gold baby and um, we are also in the in the moment at the moment trying to kill off those freaking endermen man because those endermen are we need their freaking eyeballs and we as you can see this is a strip mine or a branch mine whatever you want to call it and um, as you can see we've been doing a whole bunch of mining I'm trying to find some freaking diamonds um, so this is the strip mine outpost guys this is where we come and do our stripping baby because that's how we roll up in this beers nears and um, man I'm so happy with this outpost and um, I'm so happy that it's been connected via um, a giant railway system now something I'm not going to be able to show you today is the second continent and that is a continent that we went on a, on a freaking adventure to discover and man it it was a crazy adventure we built a boat and we ventured out across the ocean and we found a second uh, a second continent and we will be heading to that second continent at some point in the future creating a brand new series on that continent so there's there's so much to freaking do guys and for, for you old subs I fixed up the railway here you can see I, I added um, uh, a button that turns on the railway so that I can get my cart going and I added redstone torches thank you guys for that advice um, if it wasn't for you guys I would never have been able to make this work so thank you guys but our minecart has headed off into uh, the blue yonder and we're gonna head back to the mole hole because there's one more thing that I want to show you guys and um, we can see a really sweet view of the outpost as we as we go along the great railway system and uh there's the bridge in, in the distance man Ow! what in the freak is your problem dude you freaking butthole oh man how did that butthole get onto the freaking great railway man that that makes me mad all right let's see if we can freaking take him out as we as we get to him actually we're probably going to need this um wait what the hell <laughs> our tour has been waylaid by enemies oh my goodness gracious what has happened here our minecart has been picked up we it, oh god man just when the tour was going so sweet man i don't know if you guys have ever been to disneyland but it always happens to me something goes wrong on the freaking tour but anyway if that spider is here i'm gonna kick his ass um um <laughs> god freaking damn it we don't have enough momentum now <laughs> Okay, let's let's start again, shall we? Let's let's start again. Okay, there we go. Boom, we're away. Now uh, we're heading back to the to the mole hole because there's one more thing I want to show you guys, and it's a new development. No one has seen this development yet. Um, come come at me, bro. Come on, come on, you bastard. Take an arrow to the freaking ass. Take an arrow to the ass. Bam. Um, <laughs> so this is a new build, guys, that no one has seen yet. So um, I hope you're going to enjoy it. Old and new subscribers uh, both. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this little little piece of something something I'm about to show you, man. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be sweet. So what I did, guys, is I decided to go out the back of the mole hole um, and see what the hell is on the other side of the mole castle because I've never actually been to that side of the mole castle. And then something occurred to me, man. I need to build something to remind myself of all the freaking times that I have died like a noob. And um, guys, it's really important to know um, the times that you've died like a noob because it stops you dying like a noob the next time. And what I've done is built this bridge over um, and through the jungle biome, as you can see. And uh, there's a sweet ass lake down there. Um, but I have built myself a graveyard to commemorate the times that I've died in this series, man. And hopefully there's not going to be too many uh, more gravestones added. But this is the Ren Dog Graveyard. And over here we can see we are gathered here today in sadness and in utter utter grief 
to commemorate the time when Randog died like a noob in lava while he was in search of bling. May his soul rest in peace. And we are also gathered here today to commemorate the time when Randog fell to his death when trying to build the great lava bull. May his soul rest in peace. <laughs> so guys, welcome to the graveyard. Welcome to the Ren Dog graveyard. And hopefully there's not going to be too many more gravestones added to this, man. Because, you know, dying is such a bitch, man. We just lose all of our stuff and all of our freaking experience points. And it is, it is a butthole of a thing to die, man. But in the distance there, you can see the life tree, guys. And um, that is basically the end of this episode, man. It has been awesome going through our world with you guys, with, with you new subscribers and you new viewers and you old subscribers and you viewers from all the way back in the day. And I'm talking about a year ago, a year and a half ago when we first started uh, making videos um, on YouTube, man. And I just want to take this moment before we end this video to thank every single person who is watching this video right now. Guys, whether you're a subscriber or not, whether you've just stumbled across this video from some random place in YouTube, I want to thank you for taking time out of your freaking life to watch my videos and to sit there for 20 minutes or so um, and watch my stuff. I really, really freaking appreciate it. And it's one of the most amazing things that has ever happened to me in my life, that this is actually um, something that people are enjoying. And, and it's really, really awesome. And I hope that um, we can enjoy many, many freaking more hours together, guys. And this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. And if you haven't subscribed, now is the time to subscribe and if you haven't pressed that freaking like button you better press the freaking like button before i get angry and put this sword up the crack of your ass you understand me you bastards <laughs> anyway guys i hope you've had as much fun as i have reminiscing over what we've done in this series so far and let me tell you this is just the freaking beginning guys uh, i hope you all have a wonderful freaking day and thank you again for watching this episode and we will see you in episode 51 where we're going to be doing something crazy and that is <laughs> something you're going to have to wait for and see but let, 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 let me just put it this way the outpost is going to get some freaking nuclear power up in its ass <laughs> this has been rendog playing minecraft survival guys we'll see you in the next video goodbye 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 goodbye, goodbye.